Hello, hello. I am just going to do a quick 10 minute class for you to join in with. Everybody jogging on the spot. Really important to warm up. We want those legs, we want those arms. Good. And these up for me. I'll probably go over the 10 minutes, but that's fine. <laughs> Back to normal jogging. Good. Just roll your arms forwards while you do it. Packed it in for you for only doing about 10 15 minutes and then rolling it backwards. Good, hold one arm across your body, don't care which one, do the same as me or the opposite. Put it down your back, still jogging for me, same time, just warming up those bodies. Good, put the other arm across your body. Now put that one down your back. Good, feet apart, just slow it down for me. And then come to a stop. All right, you're gonna twist. One way, you can have your hands up or down, doesn't matter. If you need to lift your heel up off the floor, feel free to do that. And then you're gonna twist to the other way, the other way, the other way. If you're old like me, <laughs> you will need, you might need to lift your heel off the floor to get all the way around. If you are a child, release your hands for me, let it swing. If you're a child, made of rubber and magic, you might not need to do that, which is fine too. All right, quick stretch of the legs for me, feet apart. We're gonna bend down, keeping our legs straight. Toes pointing forwards for me, and we're gonna to touch the floor in between your feet. I'm just going to stay here for a second. Then you're going to go over to one foot, walk over to the other foot, hands back in the middle. Good. You can only get your tip, fingertips to the floor. You're going to try and get your palms to the floor. If you need to go further out, you can do that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go further out so you can get your elbows to the floor. Then you're going to stand back up, however you need to get up. Stand up slowly so that you don't uh, get all those lights and get a bit dizzy. All right, we're going to start off nice and easy with your right leg back for me. And we're just going to rock forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Using When you're going forward, use your front foot first. When you're going back, use your back foot first. Good, then you can speed it up a little bit for me. Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Good, turn around, face the other way. If you need to slow it down again, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, you can do that. If you're not straight into it. Good, change feet again for me. Good, we're gonna do sort of quick uh, load of combinations, ready? Jab reverse for me first. Itch, forwards, and then shuffle back. Jab, reverse, stretching your back foot out as you go backwards again, keeping your feet apart for me. Good. Awesome, keep going. One more. Good, change feet for me guys. Same again on this side, itch. Knee, sun, well done, keep going, she, go, rook, sitch, hutch. Good, change feet, good. Jab reverse front kick now guys, ready? So exactly the same, jab reverse, then throw, so jab, reverse, throw your back foot up, do a kick, Step forward, shuffle back using your back foot first, and then you need to be on the other foot, so we step back to reset. Ready? Itch. Knee. Good. Sun. She. Go. Good, 
Let's change feet. Itch. Knee. Sun. Good guys, keep going. She. Go. Awesome. Change feet. Good. This time we are going to uh, do your front kick first. Jab on this hand this time because we always jab with our front hand so that this because this foot's coming forward. This becomes your front hand. So jab and then your reverse and then we just step back to reset. Ready? Itch. Front kick. Jab. Reverse. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rook. One extra time. Let's do that time. Change feet. Itch. So again, it's this hand now. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Good guys. Awesome. All right. Uh, everybody, heels together. Right? Yoy. Good. Everybody, right leg back. Uh, let's have you in full lunge for me. And you're going to do a head level or stomach level. I don't care which you're doing. I want this hand pulled back here this time though. So what you're going to do, you're going to step through and punch. Try and land your foot and your hand at the same time. Coming forwards and then going back again. If you don't have the space, as you can see, I've got quite a good decent sized lounge. So I can go forwards and backwards probably about three, maybe four times in this gap. You might not have um, a, big, a big enough space. If you don't, that's absolutely fine. What you can do is if you want to practice going forward, you can do this and then you can kind of shuffle back to where you were and step through again. Not a problem at all. If I'm counting and I'm saying backwards and forwards and you guys can't do that because of space, just do whatever you can, make it work for you. Ready? So forwards, itch, knee, backwards, itch, knee. When you're moving, make sure, I'm just going to step back a little bit so you can see my foot. Make sure when you're doing this, you're not moving your foot first and then going forwards. That is telegraphing. If you don't know what telegraphing is, I've explained it in class. I will explain it in another video, maybe. Uh, basically, short version, telegraphing is when you're telling your opponent what you're about to do. Okay, so you don't want to do this and then step through. You want to make sure that it comes through and it naturally See this foot, how it naturally moved? Naturally moves. Okay, ready? Forwards, itch. Knee. Sun. Close to the camera. Backwards, itch. Knee. Sun. Good, all right, we're gonna change into long forward stance. We're in long forward stance in our style. What we do is we use our back hand. So front hand is foot and so that you can reach, put more uh, hips into it and use your power. And backhand is when you're in long forward stance. So stepping through in long forward stance. Again, don't step this foot and then come through. It makes it a whole lot easier for you. But again, telegraphing, telling the opponent what you're doing. All right, ready? Itch, knee, do this if it's, this is, uh, if you're a white belt, just keep your, fit, your um, hips going forwards. All right, just gonna go back a bit, guys. If you, are a higher belt, I want you to twist off, step out, and then use your hips to do it. Okay, everybody got it? So two different um, levels that you guys, whether you're a white belt, if you're a white belt, yellow stripe, yellow belt, orange stripe, uh, and maybe even an orange belt, I'm happy for you to just use your um, hips coming forwards. If you're an orange belt, I'd like you to try and do the hips thing. And if you're a green belt and above, I want you to be definitely doing it or trying it. Ready? Forwards, itch. Ooh, bit of a wobble. Knee, sun, whoa. Don't make that sound. <laughs> Backwards, itch. Knee, <laughs> so close. Sun, good, awesome. All right, heels together, right? Joy. I'm going to do another another um, class again, 10-15 minutes, something like that for you guys to um, join in with.
you've got any questions or comments, comment below and we will see you very soon. Check out the rest of our videos, especially if you're part of Centauru and you want to do our, I've put up a video about uh, basics, um, our strikes, blocks and kicks and I've done a warm up and I'm now starting to do the carters as well. So if you guys want to go and have a look at those, join in, feel free, stay safe, see you soon.